polarities. We all have them. We all get stuck in them at times. What are some of the ones you notice you get stuck in? Right, wrong, good, bad, left, right, whatever it is. And you know, in our culture today, there's a lot. And it almost drives us towards a certain polarity where the thinking or the listening tends to all gravitate to one side or the other. And there's a lot in between that gets missed. Polarities are essentially two seemingly contradictory but interdependent states. The simplest polarity you can think of is breathing in and then breathing out. You can't say one's better than the other. <laughs> You can't say we should only be breathing in people or only be breathing out because they're opposites, but they also are interdependent and they work together. So as we talk about polarities today, I want you to think about and remember, keep in the back of your mind, this breathing in and breathing out. How do we get stuck in a polarity in what seems like an either or? Oftentimes it's our beliefs around the polarities where one is a preference and one isn't. We demonize one thing at the expense of another thing, or we elevate one thing at the expense of something else. Oftentimes when I'm working with clients or in training rooms, I listen for polarities because they're just really common. Humans tend to swing back and forth between two poles. I'll give you an example. I was talking to a client the other day about a business decision they needed to make. It's an expensive decision, it's an important decision. And they said something like, well, either everybody agrees to this or we have to chuck the whole thing. I thought, wow, okay. So either everybody agrees or we chuck the whole thing. Like there's nothing in between. If you look at it like a spectrum, there's nothing, no other options, no other possibilities in between all in and chuck the whole thing. And I started thinking, we all do that in very specific ways in life and in relationship. We say either this person is persecuting me and they hate me or they agree with everything I say. Either this person is my friend or they're my enemy. Either this is happening or that is happening. Either I can be myself or I have to perform for other people. Do you hear how the polarity swings you back and forth between two things that seemingly don't go together, but it can actually coexist. We can have a lot more both and in our life if we begin to notice the polarities that we're already living in. So next time something important is at stake and you're attempting to make a decision or you're getting other people's opinions, Listen for your own polarity and how you describe it. Do I describe it as it's either this or that? I can only do this or that. And notice what gets left out in the in-between and what would it look like for you to discipline your mind, to come up with five other options in between the this and the that? What would it look like for you to trust yourself to brainstorm, to play, to create, and to find a lot of other ways to solve for the problem at hand without the either or. In my experience, there's a whole lot of and available in life that doesn't get utilized because we get stuck in our either ors. Now, why do we get stuck in either ors? Could be a lot of different things. I think oftentimes, at least for me, when I'm in an either or, Part of it is I'm trying to prove I'm right about something. I have a preference one way or the other, and I'm really trying to prove I'm right about it. So I get stuck over in one polarity. Another reason could be I am unfamiliar with one side and I'm more familiar with another side. So one side seems risky, the other side seems familiar or comfortable, and I'm gonna to gravitate towards what's familiar or comfortable. Another reason we get stuck in polarities is because one side feeds the narrative that we're in about ourselves and the other side maybe disrupts it or violates it. For example, if I'm in my mind, if I'm the person people always reject, then I'm going to be swinging towards scenarios where well, either everybody rejects me or they accept everything I say. 
and my natural lean will be into what I already believe about myself and other people. And that's a big, big swing. So I never see the other possibility. I never see a possibility for acceptance and connection and collaboration because I'm so far over to the other side and so certain about the rejection that's coming my way that I actually invite it. Imagine if 10 years from now, you hadn't learned anything in a decade because you had just continued to reinforce the beliefs that you already have. Would that be considered a win for you? Would that be considered a disappointment? Have you thought about it? And what would it look like for you on a regular basis to add a big fat hand in the middle of some of your oars and see what else you could find? It's so common that we don't even recognize that our listening often is filtered through a polarity. Check out my video on listening filters for more on that. It's really rich and I think you'll find a lot of resource in it. If this opened something up for you, it helped you think of something in a new way, like subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, make a comment. I'd love to hear what polarity you find you are the most committed to, or maybe another topic you'd like to hear about.